Yeah, hi, my name is Glenn Gross, and I'm the owner of Safeway Electric. And I just received an email from a customer asking how to wire up a arc fault circuit breaker to an existing lighting circuit. So we're in my training room today and we're taking a look at a service panel I have installed. And I've already prepped the panel. I powered down the panel in order to begin my work. So one of the first things that you want to do is make sure that all power is shut off uh, to your circuit breaker box. Shut off the main power uh, by switching the main circuit breaker off. And always use a voltmeter in order to confirm that the power is off. Alrighty, so I've got a, uh, a circuit right here. This is my lighting circuit right here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and remove the wire from underneath the breaker. Now because we're going to be installing an arc fault circuit breaker, uh, we need to find the neutral wire for this here circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow uh, this wire down the panel. And we're going to locate the sheathing. We really want to be careful on this and you want to identify the sheathing where this power wire is coming out of and then be real careful and uh, make sure that you do follow the neutral wire all the way up just like I'm doing here to prevent any errors because if you make a mistake identifying the neutral wire your arc fault circuit breaker isn't going to function like it's supposed to. So what we want to do now is go ahead and remove the neutral wire from underneath the terminal strip here in the panel. Alrighty. Now, an arc fault circuit breaker is different than a regular normal circuit breaker. Okay? Here, this here arc fault circuit breaker, you can see it has a factory attach neutral wire, okay? And it also has back in here, you want to identify the, uh, the power terminal lug of the circuit breaker. And in this case here, it's golden color. And then this here uh, screw right next to it is white. And this is the uh, neutral. Okay, so what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and this here neutral wire that we identified, we want to wire it underneath the neutral screw lug of this circuit breaker. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, real important. Good, tight, safe connections. So what we want to do now is we want to bring the black wire, okay, of the lighting circuit and put it underneath the lug screw on the load side of this here arc fault circuit breaker. Be sure to put it in the in the proper location on the circuit breaker. And use your screwdriver and be sure to tighten it down really super tight. But don't over tighten it. Okay. Now it's time to install the arc fault circuit breaker in the uh, circuit breaker box here. We want to real carefully, we want to real carefully be sure to line the lock here underneath the tab of the panel right here. Set it underneath the tab and then push the circuit breaker onto the bus bar just like I did here. Now the white wire the factory attached neutral wire. We want to hit, go ahead now and get it ready and put it underneath this here neutral terminal strip of the circuit breaker box. 
So find yourself a find yourself an area that's open where there, you can put a screw. You don't want to uh, double tap any of the screws by putting two wires under one screw. So be sure to find a screw like this one here that has an open spot. Okay, and always pretend that there is electricity in here and stay away from anything that could have voltage on it. That's just good workmanship, good practice. And securely tighten this factory installed neutral off of the arc pulse circuit breaker underneath this air terminal strip and properly tighten it down. Inside your panel box it should have a, a tag in there with some information on the torque that is required and the type of circuit breakers and all types of general information uh, that has to do with this circuit breaker box. So anyway, that's how we do it. We uh, we went ahead and installed the arc fault circuit breaker onto an existing circuit and uh, why don't we go ahead and test the circuit now and see if it works. So I'll go ahead and I'll restore power uh, to my box. I should have power and I'll go ahead and turn on the uh, arc fault circuit breaker. We can see that a light came on. We do have some power here and uh, yeah so here I turn the, uh, the light switch on and we have power. Now if I go ahead and I push this test button right here we can see that the uh, lighting went out. So the arc fault circuit breaker has passed the manual test. Uh, so simply just reset the breaker by switching it all the way to the off position and then turn it back on. And then now you can see that the light is back on and power is back on the circuit. So anyway, thank you for uh, your questions and I look forward to uh, more questions so I can get more videos out there to help all my customers. Thank you for your time and watching my videos. Have a good day.